What's up everyone, I'm Taylor Kim, back with another hot sauce video. But this one is unlike anyone you've ever seen before. So after looking at the comments from last video, my friend Frank commented that I should melt Flaming Hot Cheetos. It gave me an idea to make the first ever Flaming Hot Cheetos hot sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, this has never been done before. No one has ever made Flaming Hot Cheeto hot sauce, let alone subject themselves to try it. Also, if you're liking the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and thank you for 300 subscribers. It means a lot. So I personally know nothing about cooking. I can't really cook anything. So I'm gonna throw it over to my friend who is a very experienced chef. Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Taylor's Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Taylor, from the YouTube channel, Taylor Kim. Now this episode is a very special one because we are making hot sauce out of Flaming Hot Cheetos. Flaming Hot Cheetos Now this now this recipe is a little different because we are following a standard hot sauce recipe but we are replacing all the peppers with Flaming Hot Cheetos. Oh my gosh, can we stop the stop? So our ingredients today are very simple, very fun. We're gonna go with 10 ounces of Flaming Hot Cheetos, three large cloves of garlic, one shallot, one tablespoon of salt, which is very fun. And then of course, two cups of white distilled vinegar. Now if we were making normal hot sauce, we would begin by slicing up all the peppers. But since we're replacing them with Flaming Hot Cheetos, <laughs> we're gonna start by cutting these up. So fun. So of course, you wanna have a clear workstation. Now we're gonna just start chopping, chopping these uh, Cheetos, so fun. Just, you know, get nice slices. And this is, this is what cooking is about, guys. It, it's fun, you know, you're here, you're chopping up your Cheetos. Um, you know, this is taking kind of a while. So I think, I think this is about good. You know, just chop, just chop about this much. You know, it was fun. We had fun chopping them. We're just gonna throw these Cheetos in the, in the pot. So here is our pot. We're going to first just add, just add the Cheetos, you know, that would have taken uh, kind of a long time, but then we get to add the ones we cut, which is very fun, very fun to just add that in there. And uh, yeah, so now you can see our our bowl or whatever, what it is, is um, it's just so fun. We're gonna put the pan back for now, just let it sit there. So now we're gonna want to chop up the rest of our ingredients. This uh, this shallot which looks like a little onion. Yeah, we're gonna wanna get these all minced. Um, I believe that's when you cut things very small, um, which is fun, of course. And uh, you know what, this is enough. Just start chopping. You just wanna chop it, you know, mince it into tiny, tiny little pieces. It's just, it's fun. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's fun. You just wanna make it sure they're, they're really small. And that looks, um, diced? What am I looking for? Minced. That looks minced. Very minced right there. Um, so we're gonna, once again, add this to the pot over here. So now we have our shallots, and we have our Flaming Hot Cheetos. And next we're on to our three, um, cloves of garlic, I believe they're called. Yeah, so these guys, you just wanna, you're gonna wanna do the same thing, you know, just kinda chop them up. Uh, mince them. Yeah, there are garlics flying uh, left and right because my chops are powerful. Um, but you're gonna want some powerful chops. That's fine. D does that look minced? Um, yeah, that, that, I think that's fine. So we're gonna now add our our garlics to the to the bowl. And uh, let me sh let me show you what we're working with right now. So far, we just have um, our Cheetos and some shallot and some garlic. So we're going to start firing this thing up and we're going to add our two cups of distilled white vinegar. Oh, you just hear that sizzle. 
It's so fun. So we have all those ingredients just getting to know each other in that pan, so much fun. So we're gonna now wait about five minutes for that to cook at high heat. Okay, now let's see how that pan is doing. Okay, now we're gonna take the time to stir it, you know, really help the ingredients get to know each other and they're, they're, they're having fun, but they just, you know, they're, they're a little shy. So now that the pot is boiling, everything's mixing together, having fun, we're gonna wanna now add our salt and then turn the heat down a little bit for another five minutes. Okay, now that it's cooled down, we're gonna add it to our blender because there are still big chunks of small onion and garlic in there. And although we had a lot of fun cutting it, um, I guess we didn't cut it well enough, so we're gonna now add it to the blender and blend it for a little bit. That is fun, look at that. Now that, that is fun. So this sauce is smelling fun. We are going to now just, just mix it a little bit because you know, there are, it's fun, but there, there's a lot of chunks in there that we still need to get through. Gonna puree this thing a couple of times. I'm not really sure how many times, but we have to do it because there are chunks in there. Uh, so we're gonna puree this thing. And wow, that is looking fun. So now you get your bottle or your jar. I have this little jar right here, and we are going to pour it in. Oof. That is toxic air. Um, does not smell great. Okay, so now we're gonna pour it in our jar. That is fun. What a fun color. And we are now going to close the jar. So we now have our flaming hot Cheeto hot sauce. Wow, this looks fun. So you're now gonna wanna let it sit for 30 minutes to 24 hours, however long you want. Um, Taylor is gonna be eating this within the next hour, so that'll be fun. Um, this was Taylor's Kitchen. <gasps> I'm your host, Chef Taylor, from the YouTube channel, Taylor Kim. And thanks for stopping by. You know, have you tried at home? Follow my instructions as best as you can. You know, you can't do better than what we just did. Uh, but you know, the dicing, the boiling, the blending, it was all just <laughs> so much fun. But uh, that's all from me, so I'll see you next time. So now we have the first ever Flaming Hot Cheeto hot sauce. Here we go, <laughs> first smell. <laughs> it smells like melted flaming hot Cheeto. Oh my gosh! It's spongy! What the heck? Yo. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is like sponge material. Like. Okay, I have to microwave this. Okay, well, I guess after sitting for a couple hours, it is. Oh my gosh, this is like. It's like paste. Look, it's like jello. <laughs> it's like jello. This isn't sauce. I was already nervous, and now it's not even sauce. And now here it is on a chicken strip. <laughs> it's got a cool color. It's like a uh, real bright pink. Okay, here we go. The first ever bite of flaming hot Cheeto hot paste. Okay, it's not terrible. It tastes like Flaming Hot Cheetos and then you get hit with like a bunch of vinegar, <laughs> like right in your mouth. Like this side of my mouth 
It was like numb now because it just, the vinegar sat in it. It's not the success I think I dreamed it would be, but I didn't throw up and I guess I'll take another bite to prove it's not that bad. But man, I was really hoping to, to, to sell these on, on Etsy. This is kind of like if you go to a restaurant and get some queso, you take it home, put it in the fridge, then the next day it has like that kind of protective layer on it. If you were to then eat that without microwaving it, and then with that queso, you just shove Flaming Hot Cheetos and vinegar in your mouth. I think that's the best way to describe this. But uh, I'm, I'm just gonna prove it's not that bad. It has a very metal, feels, tastes like metal too. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't think metal was an ingredient. Anyways guys, that was making and trying Flaming Hot Cheetos hot sauce. Turned out to be a paste but it was edible, so we're gonna count that as a win. Guys, if you have another idea of a dish that doesn't exist that you'd like to see me make and try, something that should not exist on planet Earth, comment down below, I'll give it a look. I know Chef Taylor really enjoyed his segment, that was fun to shoot. So comment down below any weird foods, any sauces, anything like that that you'd be curious of me making and trying. Also like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. I know we got some big Not Cold Objects coming out in the next couple weeks and I have some side videos coming out that I'm really excited for. So make sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss any of that stuff. I'm Taylor Kim. This wasn't very good, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next Thursday. Peace. One tablespoon of salt, which is very fun. And this is, this is what cooking is about, guys. It, it's fun, um, which is fun, of course. But then we get to add the ones we cut, which is very fun. It's just so fun.